It's been good. I thought uh, we had a really good summer. The kids did a great job of, um, you know, with David in the weight room, and they did a great job, you know, studying what we do, um, you know, and, and working at it because they have to do things in the summer on their own. <clears throat> you know, we get a little time with them, but it's very, very limited. But and they did a really nice job. It's been really good. There's been a lot of talk about uh, Don Tavius mm -hmm. doing really well. How does he impress you and compared to others? Um, he he gets football. He's a natural football player. He's, uh, you know, he's got those. Uh, Football instincts that are you just don't teach. You know, I, I mean, today we uh, he got involved in a scramble. Quarterback broke contain, got out. And he he did it like a pro. You know, so instinctually he's got the it factor. Would, would you say he's further along than the average freshman? Wide he receiver is. Never yeah, he is. He is. I think he's you know just knowing, understanding, you know, visiting with him this summer. He's you know he's had to compete for his life at his high school because he was played with a lot of really good football players against a lot of really good football players, which made him, who's a very highly competitive person, highly competitive out here with these guys. It's been it's been good for him. So he's he's been he's been really a pleasant surprise for all of us. He's taken well to what we do and instinctually and fundamentally he's he's a natural. How do you keep saying that Ben and Max are really pushing each mm -hmm. other? Can you sort of sense the competitiveness at, at that position? Yeah, in, in two days, I mean, the two days, they, they, they really push each other. I think they respect one another's work. And, uh, you know, I try to, you know, in, in the room, I want to have a championship quarterback room. And they've embraced, you know, the fact that, how, you know, how that happens. And that is, you know, you have to, number one, compete against yourself. So you've got to have a high standard for your play. And then respect the other guys in the room, which that's what those two guys do, and they respect, you know, each other's work and and uh, play off of one another. It's been in just two practices, in shorts. It's been very competitive by both of them. How many experience that you do on offense? Did that help in the summer when you kind of trust those does. guys to put in the work that they did? It does. It does. It helps having, you know, in the quarterback room. You know, really, I've got two guys that have been around, and then I've got two younger guys who are highly competitive guys who you know want to compete. So they followed them. Uh, you know, you go in the running back room. We have you know three guys who have played a lot of football. That helps, and they're able to bring that room along. Uh, the receiver room. We've got you know uh, Jester and you know Q. They've done a great job. They take that room with them. Uh, Trey Tipton was doing an unbelievable job, and still is. He's like a coach now. He's become an assistant wide receiver coach, and you know he's not easy on people. He's got a future in coaching. <laughs> he's done a really nice job. So that room was able to be brought along, and then. You know, our offensive line room, you know, I, I, I can't tell how many times I walked by that room this summer and, and Brian is in there. He's got the young guys in there teaching them football. And then, you know, Bookshire gets involved and Alex gets involved. I mean, we have, night, we have really excellent leadership on this side of the ball and they are, you know, hold each other accountable and they teach one another. When you have your older players teach your younger players, you got something special going on inside your team. In our tight end room, you know, we've added, you know, Matt, uh, to that room and uh, Chris is back off his injury and those guys took that room because we've got a bunch of young guys sitting in that room so it's been really good and we we try to set that uh, tone with the players that they have to serve each other so it's been we had a good summer because of them. How are you sorting out all the depth at running back? Uh, you know Dre is mentioning that right now we're uh, you know right now we're getting them all the same looks you know just to see how each one responds, and when we get into the testing situations, you know, we'll see how that unfolds to see who plays where and how. But we're going to play all of them. I mean, they're, they're all three of those kids are going to play. Uh, we'll see what we've got out of our two young freshmen. You know, they're in China right now, but they're catching up. Today was a little bit easier than yesterday was, you know. Uh, so uh, I think all three of those guys obviously will play for us, and then how we, how we manage them uh, will depend on how they play the rest of camp. You guys already thinking about how you got to manage the offensive line for week one, knowing that you won't have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. You know, we're 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 working. You know, different rotations. We cross train this early anyway. You know, you have to cross train in the offensive line because uh, you really ten guys. You've got to cross train. So we're training. You know, we're using this early installation period as an opportunity to cross train. So centers playing guards, guards playing centers. Guards playing tackles, tackles playing both sides, and then in some cases playing some guard. So we're doing a lot of cross training right now, and you know, letting those guys get a feel for other positions in the right periods. You know, we'll do a period where we'll, John will actually do that. How much were you able to install in the spring? 
Uh, you know, we we ended up getting um, we ended up getting everything in, but just the, the pace the pace at which we went. We went slow because we were you know Max was new and. Uh, you know, we had a lot of, you know, newer, you know, Kenny was new. You know, we're really, I take my paces off the quarterback room for the whole offense and then move from there. Now this, this training camp, we went right out of the chutes. We're full bore. So it, it's uh, totally different. You know, number one, uh, you know, I didn't change any of the nomenclature, the way we call things. So I was using the spring to help me get familiar with that. I feel like it's, you know, it's in my blood now. So there's a lot of things that are just different. So we're able to move at a much faster pace, which we've done. How much time did you? Sorry, how much time did you take to uh, to learn that? <laughs> uh, well, you, you just you know, it started day one, the very first day I was here. You know, actually, uh, the very next day I was here, I got in, and then the very next day I started learning it because you have to. Um, you know, I did the same thing in Louisville, uh, and it was one of the better things that happened to me in my career because it helped me shorten, shorten you know, a world that I came out of that was real long. Um, so this is. This has been really good. There's parts and bits of this I'll take with me the rest of my career because that's what's cool about coaching. You know, I'm 35 years in and I'm still learning a lot of football. If you're evaluating uh, trying to form a depth chart, how, how much are you going to base, since this is your first year here, how much are you going to base on solely what you see out here as opposed to maybe what you saw in the last year? Is last it year? Combination it's a combination of both, you know, because you got to take a body of work and it's fair to those people that are, you know, have established themselves. Who, you know who they are, what they've done. Um, the key is the consistency. You know, so that's uh, what we're looking for, and, and that's what they need to press me about. When I met with all the kids individually. I told them, you know, that's exactly what I told them. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to be watching you on tape these next few weeks. Uh, there'll be an opinion, but what really counts is the opinion that we build from the first day we start working together on the field. And that's how I'm, you know, that's how I make my form my opinions on them.